Hi guys, welcome to the new video. I hope you all are doing well. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how you can apply for your US tourist visa. So of course, when you are, whenever you are planning to go to US, you need to get a visa for yourself. And we are going to talk about the B1, B2 category of the US visa, which you require if you are going to USA for your business purposes, or you are going there for tourism to meet your friends or relatives, or to just visit. So in this video, I'm going to fully explain all the steps which you have to do to attain the US visa. I'll show you the entire process of filling up the form, how you can get an appointment and when you have booked your appointment, what all documents are you require to bring along with you to the interview. So stay tuned and after watching the full video, I am sure you'll be able to apply for the US visa yourself. Now I am in Canada, so I'm going to give you the example of if someone is going to apply for Canada, but I want to make it clear that the process is very much similar for anyone who is applying from any other country as well. There are some changes that you need to make on your form or when you're taking the appointment, but I'll let you know that. So let's start with the video. The first thing that we need to do is the most time consuming part of US visa file that is the form DS-160. So let's fill up the DS-160 form now with me. All right, so firstly, you will go just to Google and search for form DS-160. And the first link you're going to see here is going to be the online non-immigrant visa application DS-160 form, which you are going to open. And then here is where you will start with the application. They ask you the location where you will be applying the visa from. And this is where you, if you're not in Canada, you can of course select uh, whichever country and city you're applying it from. So in my case, it's, be, it's going to be Canada and Ottawa. And then you just need to enter the code given here for verification once you do that you need to click on start an application and there are a set of terms and conditions you need to agree on need to answer a security question then you just click on continue now they are going to ask you for your personal information so You can just write anything of course you'll you'll give the correct information but in my case i'm just going to give you the examples then they ask you questions like have you ever used any other names um you will need to answer the entire form as per you know your details do you have a teddy code that represents your name and then um just select your marital status date of and place of birth then you do next Then they're going to ask you your country region of origin. Do you hold or have held any other nationality? Um, are you a permanent resident of a country other than your country of origin? So basically my country of origin or nationality is India. But I do have a PR in Canada as well. So I will say yes and then of course give the information of which country that PR is from and then they ask you the national identification number which if does not applies to you you can just select the does not apply button and then you go to the next um, the next form let's see what it is
then they're going to ask you the purpose of your trip to us you're going to select here temporary business pleasure visitor b category and then in details when you're specifying you can select business and tourism which is b1 or b2 type have you made specific travel plans so you can select yes or no depending on if you have made plans or not so i'll select no in my case intended date of arrival you can um, select a date on which you intend to arrive in the us length of stay whatever it is for you then they ask you where you will be staying so you can just select anything of course you are going to select if you are going to stay at a at a you know um relative's house then you can select that or otherwise just uh, the hotel information who's going to pay for your trip self then you're just going to give information of any so just a second zip code here of course i am because since i am just doing it for example it is incorrect but in your case it will be correct are there other persons traveling with you no have you ever been in the us before so there are these questions did you have a us visa before have you been refused a visa immigration petition so once you do that then you have to give all your personal information here uh, which is your home address then your mailing address then your email address then social media presence this is of course optional but you can click that as well and then we wish to provide information about your presence on any other website so yes or no you can select whatever you want to the next step would be giving your passport information so which passport you have the passport number passport book number which might not apply to you country that issued the passport so most of the cases will be india otherwise you can select the one for you where it was issued and you can select the issuance state the expiration date have you ever lost your passport no then they're going to ask you the contact person or organization in the us so you can click on do not know in case you don't and then they'll ask you relationship to you so of course if you're going to family members you're going to fill out this part So basically the thing is that uh you need to give either the contact person or organization in the US or um yeah or the organization so yeah you have to give one of this So just for example if if it is it is for tourism and you have to go to say for example a hotel you can just fill in its information and then for relationship to you you can click on other and then they are just going to ask for the entire address of them so it just depends what you are going to do and you just click on Then the next is your family's all information you just have to give your family's information which includes your father's full name date of birth mother's full name date of birth and if you have any immediate relatives not including your parents in the united states means if you have any fiance spouse child or sibling so you need to give this information the next 
the next year they're going to ask you your uh, present work education training information so you have to select your occupation first if you are studying you can click on education otherwise you can just select whichever occupation are you into and then you need to give your employer or your school name in case in case you know you are studying or your employer's information so i'm just going to do this i'm just going to fill in the entire thing now you also have to give your uh, monthly income and then a brief briefly describe what you're doing in your current job then the next is going to be your um additional information where it's going to be basically if you belong to a tribe or clan and have you traveled to any other countries so of course all the information which belongs to you, you can um you can just add it up here if you have belonged to contributed to any, any charitable organization and then for most of this for me it's no and then you go to the next step next is going to be the security and background check so here they are going to ask you some questions on your security and background check so you can answer all these questions they are in different parts so you need to answer all those questions one by one so once this is done the security questions are done the next step is going to be they are going to ask you to upload a photo of you and just read all these instructions of what kind of photograph they'll want and once you do that you can upload your photo here and then you can confirm your photo to continue with the application process next you're going to see the page where you will be uh, reviewing all the information you have provided so this is all the information you have provided you're just going to review if everything looks correct one by one and then you're just simply going to sign and submit the file they're going to ask you some questions you just have to type in your passport number enter the code again so guys this was the entire process of filling the ds160 form which is the first step towards filing the visa now we are going to continue ahead and look at where we need to go to book our appointment and how when how we can generate the checklist of what documents we'll require but before moving forward if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do subscribe i make a lot of informative video which might be useful for you so go and subscribe first and then let's continue with the further application process now further once you have completed your ds160 you just need to open up this website here which is ais us visa you can just um, search for this on google and then the first link you see here you're just going to open this link all right so this is the link you will see here now when you um come here you go down and you will see here that um you can apply uh, for a u.s non-resident non-immigrant visa so what you need to do is the first section here is says apply it says click this option if you have never used a site before and you have completed a ds160 form so since we have already completed the ds160 form this is the option for us i'm just going to click on this site here so this site basically was for the ds160 so i'm just going to click on the apply button here and once i click on the apply button they are going to ask us to sign up so basically they are asking us to create an account so we'll go ahead and create an account now i am a diplomat i am a non-canadian citizen residing in canada who has completed non-immigrant visa application form and want to apply for a visa so this is what applies to me okay then 
you know there are other options so whatever applies to you if none of them then you can select this so in this in my case this applies to me then you click on continue then you have to give all your information so i am just going to give a rough information here okay so the account has been successfully created for this email address so in order to activate the account you have to of course um click on the find out the instructions from the email you receive basically once you receive that email you just have to click on the link and it will verify your email address and then you will get to this page here which says the new applicant form so you just have to fill up all this information once again about yourself about where the passport was issued what's your country of birth where are you permanent resident of your passport number and then they are going to also ask you for your ds160 number so they are going to ask you for your application number so you can fill in your application number here your visa class your date of birth over here okay so once you uh, create that applicant for you they are going to ask you does this visa type match your travel an incorrect visa class may negatively affect your visa submission so b1 b2 is what you will need so you will say yes So you will just select if any of the statements apply for you within the last six months you were you were refused any us visa so no do you want to add another applicant no okay so then they are going to ask you information like you can collect your passport after visa processing from document pickup location you should select below um so you'll select which document pickup location you are going to uh, collect your passport from so since i'm in ontario where do you want to select it from you can select any according to yourself and then the courier clerk will release the documents only if the id presented by the person picking up the matches the following information so you again need to fill up all your information here and once this is done you will get to the next page which says payments so how you will be uh, doing the payments they will ask you for the they'll give you the details of uh, the application so it's an amount of 160 usd either you want to pay by cash interact or mastercard you can select any option so here you will put in the credit card details and you will pay the fees and once you pay your fees the next step is going to be to schedule an appointment and after you schedule an appointment then will be the next steps of finding the instructions so guys till now you have seen the entire process of the ds160 form as well as how you can book for your appointment once you create your applicant file and then book for your appointment and pay at the end you will get the entire instructions of what all document you need to bring when you need to come and everything about that but what i'll do is i'll show you a checklist of basically what documents you need to take along yourself it is important that you take physical copies or photocopies of all the checklist documents because the interviewer or the visa officer might ask you a certain questions and then ask you for proof of those items and if you take everything along with you it, the chances will be much higher that you will get the visa approval so let's take a look at all the documents which are required and which you need to take along with you 
So here I have found a list of the checklist documents that you need to carry along with you. So of course you need to have your valid passport with you and make sure it is valid for at least six months after entering the United States. You need to take your digital photograph with you. The travel itinerary. So basically a summary of where you will be staying. If it's a residence, if a relative's house, then their entire information uh, dates of your last five visits to us if applicable declaration stating why you are going to the us your purpose of visit funds which display the details about if you have enough funds to support your stay in the us for funds of course you need to take your bank statements and your pay stubs and of course your email address um, then what all you will need for interview, of course, your confirmation of the interview that you'll get in your email, a letter declaring the reason of your trip. So you basically have to write a letter which says why you want to go to the US, then proof of financial support while in US of that again is your pay stubs, your bank statements proof that you have social ties such as family job amongst others so basically you need to show them that you will come to your country of residence and that you have social ties there so if you have family you can show the proof or if you have job of course the a letter from employer is something that you can get an invitation letter from a friend if a friend or a relative is inviting you then um, your criminal record you could also need so these are some uh, optional documents documents related to your past visits to the us a uh, diploma or transcript so this is basically required for students so if students are applying definitely take along your transcripts for whatever semesters you have already completed or your uh, completion letter or your diploma or degree certificate if you have completed it a letter from your employer and pay slips letter from your company in the us um, stating your purpose of trip if it is a business trip of course document showing ties with family and friends you will visit in us and a letter from a doctor who will treat of course this these, these depends on what purpose you are going for if you are going to visit family and relatives you will need some of these documents if you are just going to visit then basically your employer and stuff and if you're going for any medical treatment then the last one so definitely um these are the optional documents that you will require and i'll definitely post a link in description of um where you can find this list so finally at the day of your appointment you just need to arrive at your appointment on time with all the documents we just discussed so guys, I really hope this video was helpful and after watching this video, you will definitely be able to apply for your US visa and you will get your visa easily as well. If you like today's video, do share it with your friends or anyone whom you think this video will benefit. You can also like and comment if you have any questions about the US visa in the comment section below. Please share this video with as many people as you can and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys.